So now let's get started with using physics behavior inside of Adobe Character Animator. So in order to get started with physics behavior, first of all, I'm going to import a file. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to import and then I'm going to select the shapes right here. That is an illustrator file with different layers. So I'm just going to import this out. And what happens is that if I were to double click this, you can see that this is a bunch of circular shapes right here. So now if I were to go to record right here and drag the shapes onto the timeline, a new scene is created, but you can see that nothing happens. That is because the physics behavior is applied by default, but it does not know what to react upon. So we're going to set that up right here. If I were to double click on shapes right here, and if you were to go over here onto shapes, you can see that physics be behavior is applied by default. There's the gravity strength, direction and wind strength and everything is there. So now in order to apply physics, I'm going to go around into, let's say, for example, this layer. And then what I'm going to do is over here on the tag section, expand the tag section. Here you can see that there's physics. So I'm just going to enable dynamic and collide will be enabled uh, just like that as well. Collide is enabled along with dynamic. So now if I were to go over here onto record, you'll be able to see that that shape actually falls down. So now let us go back onto rig again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the shapes just like this. I'm going to select all of the shapes. And as I click on dynamic, you can see that collide is applied on all of it. And you can see that there's a crown on all of it. All of them has become an independent layer. So now if I were to go to record, you'll be able to see that they collide with each other. You can see that the shapes collide with each other. So if I were to refresh again, let's just see that, right? The balls collide with each other and you can see that physics come into play. So let me just go into uh, the shapes again over here. If I were to change around the areas over here, let's say for example, then the collision will be different just like this. So you can just go around over here, change this around and go back to record right here. And in the scene, you can see that that is how it actually works like. So you do not need to add in any manual animation at all. What you can simply do is work around uh, with the shapes and then the parameters and the dynamic collision of the physics is all generated for you. And that is another powerful option inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.